your other staff will get to you. And your day will go rough. And you won't be in top mental shape for HQ that night. I mean, that's the highlight of your day, isn't it? Tapping those answers, inching closer to victory, struggling toward that glorious night when you finally crack Q12 and grab your share of the $5,000 prize pot. I personally can't think of a bigger thrill. I really can't. <laughs> oh, wait. You could win after buying a VIP ticket. That's a bigger thrill. Then you get a giant size cut of the $1,500 VIP pot, which is bound to be big money since we won't sell more than 150 tickets. But we need 100 to go forward with the VIP mode. So make it happen. We got 40 in it right now. In it to win it. Oh, 42. That was quick. <laughs> yay, yay. With a new week started, we've got a new charity to tell you about. Actually, it's one we've told you about before. Ready? Here it is. Best Friends Animal Society. Working to end killing animal in shelters by 2025. Best Friends operate... Best Friends operate... Yeah. Since they're founding in Utah, almost. I don't know, but I know the mouth heals fast. Huh? Yeah, but I'm just saying the inside of your mouth heals fast. Through the Best Friends Animal Society. So look at that. They hooking up H cuties with loving fur babies. That's a beautiful thing. Let's get it cracking, baby. Quick reminder. Two games of HQ coming your way tomorrow. First, Jeff Eisen Band hosts HQ's Hall of Trivia. That's an hour before the main game, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, followed by Classic HQ with your boy, Matt Richards. And then on Wednesday, Anna's here with HQ Words. Yay, yay. So, y'all set to yank this ripcord and see who glides safely to the ground? Who's going to feel it tomorrow? It's that magic moment where the questions are about to be released. We don't know what they hold, but the thrill is in the Take a deep breath. Let the stress of Monday leave your body right now. You need full concentration for the task ahead. And now there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. Which of these is a common ingredient in granola? Pork, motor oil, or oats? Granola. Mm. What's it going to be? Obviously, you go with whatever recipe you like, but it may not have the health benefits you're looking for if you add pork. And avoid motor oil altogether, okay? But load it down with oats. 38,969 players got it right. I'm going to say a quick prayer for the people that picked motor oil. Q2! <laughs> what does a kinesiologist study? Immune systems, movement, or populations? I was over here just waiting for an envelope to come from yesterday. <laughs> that was fun. All good things to study, but for uh, two of these, you're going to need an immunologist and a, uh, uh, what's it, a demographer. Movement puts the kinetic in kinesiology. 37,517 players got that run at Q2. Let's go, babies. Oh, wait. Question number three. Which of these albums is by the Jimi Hendrix Experience? Electric Ladyland, Strange Days, or The White Album? Jimi Hendrix This is some of the best the late uh, 60s had to offer. In fact, a solid night of grooving out would be the Doors album and the Beatles album, capped off by uh, 1968's Electric Ladyland by Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, make it a whole night in vinyl. It was five discs. 
33,865 players got it right. Electric Lady Land. Have you ever been? Come on now, Jimmy. Woo! Q4, knocking on your door. Which is a hybrid bear species that has arisen from interspecies mating? Brack bear, grizzly bear, or thunder bear? Okay, the definition of a species is you can't reproduce outside it, but there are always gray areas on the border, and polar bears that have migrated south have been mating grizzlies. And you can guess the result. A pizzly bear. 27,965 got it right. All bear facts are verified by another, none other. Did my main man Reggie? <laughs> yeah. But shout out to 27,000 y'all getting that right. Good job. Q5 for the Pizzlies. <laughs> Which of these countries has the largest territorial claim in Antarctica? Argentina, Australia, or Norway? Different countries have the South Pole sliced up like a giant pizza. But the widest slice, about a third of it, is Australia's. Somehow, France got in the middle of it, cutting Australia's claim into two pieces. I don't know. It's crazy. 16,308 players got it right. Australia, good on ya! Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Yeah, it's Aussie Aussie. What I said, ziggy zaggy, that was from the man show. Derp. All right, I'm back. Just had to reset my brain. Okay, Q6. And it goes a little something like this. GameStop stock made news this year for its involvement in what? Mean reversion, reverse split, or short squeeze? You know anything about stonks? You got this one right. All right, when traders think a stock is going to lose money. Sometimes they try to make money from the lost money by betting it will lose money. What? That's called short selling. I learned all about this during the quarantine on YouTube videos. And GameStop's revenge was the short squeeze. And it raised quite the ruckus. And the buckus for your boy. 19,975 players got it right. Short squeeze. That's when you order a small glass of orange juice. They take the orange and go, whoop, that's it. Just a little short squeeze. Oh, okay. That was dumb. Question number seven. Yeah. The title of Amanda Gorman's inauguration poem featured what kind of reference? Botanical, mechanical, or topographical? Seven is quickly here already. We got five more questions till the jackpot. It was just the kind of pep talk we needed to kick in a new era. The talented Amanda Gorman set off the current presidency with the hill we climb, like the topographic feature. When you're on a set list with Gaga and J-Lo, you've made it. All I'm going to say about that, 14,240 players got it right. Topographic, the hill we climb. Yeah. Question number eight. The actor of Biff in Back to the Future has the same name as the cartoonist of what strip? Blondie, Heathcliff, or Ziggy? Was it only? All right, he played the Tannen family in all three films uh, and a video game. So you had lots of chances to learn the name of Tom Wilson. Same name as the creator and his son, who's now the artist of Ziggy. Two characters who get the same stuff dumped on them. <laughs> I froze? Hey, I'm back. All right. Feels good to be back. Q9. A popular Twitch emote of Josh DeSeno's face shares its name with a notable Japanese what? Anime, demon, or food? Josh took a snapshot of his face, put it in black and white, and now it's seen all the time on Twitch. That's the Kappa face people use uh, to troll. Uh, and like a troll, that's the name of the Japanese demon. 
Yeah, web trolls might be worse, though. I'm just saying. 9,498 players got it right. Demon! All right, question number 10, my friends. Time to get it in. Which of these MLB teams' common three-letter scoreboard abbreviation is not a legal scrabble? Dodgers, Mariners, or All right, there's no formula for these abbreviations. You can combine the city with the team for LAD or just the city's first three letters for SEA, but if you play DET from the Detroit Tigers, expect a challenge. Yeah, never heard of a debt. DET. 10,241 players got it right. Tigers. Q11. All tigers and pizzlies go to heaven. <laughs> Which of these is not a monster in the Doom video game franchise? Impling, Inferno, or Sawcubus? We should know. Okay. These games were basically satanic heavy metal smorgasbords from the get, so it's no surprise. They're even crazier now, but in all their fire and brimstone, there was no inferno. And yes, a sawcubus is real. It's like saw and cubus. A saw cubus like a succubus, is real. but with a saw. Only Doom could use that pun. Infernal is the answer we were looking for, and that was a savage one. 4,981 players got it right. Only fitting that we show the flames just there. That means y'all are moving on to the final question of the game, baby. Woo! Q12. What's that smell? It smells like money. Final question of the game. Let's get it. Hanna Barbera Productions' first animated TV series did not feature whose voice? Dawes Butler, Don Messick, or June Foray? Who is it going to be? Bill and Joe started animating for TV and never stopped, starting all the way back in 1957 with a cat and a dog named Rough and Ready, voiced by two names who'd stay with the company for decades, Dawes Butler and Don Messick. There was no June. Oh, my gosh. That's a savage final question. We have 2,328 winners tonight on this beautiful Monday of h Mila Grost, uh, Archer Jennif, Jack 2J, Michelle Philly, Kirk Poigar, Dickie G, <laughs> VBV7TY, Catherine, Snoopy09, Morty Will, B Nelson HQ. Yeah, all of y'all just did it. $2.15 going out to everybody that won. That's the kind of amazing job we've learned to expect here at HQ. Come on by anytime, like tomorrow, okay? When we'll have more questions and more money. And also, more games than we had tonight. Yeah, tomorrow we got Hall of Trivia with Jeff Eisenband one hour before the main game. Then I'll be here for Classic HQ. And on Wednesday, Anna Roisman's going to be launching the letters on HQ Words. You don't want to miss that. Don't forget about that charity either. Best Friends Animal Society working to end killing animals in shelters and succeeding with a lot of help. Visit them at bestfriends.org to donate or find your new best friend. Until I talk to you again, this is Money Flippin' Matt Richards saying, what if we forgot how to date during the pandemic? We're all gonna go to bars and be giant dorks. The first weekend, it's like, hey, look, I can do 20 push-ups. I, I can balance this glass on my head. <laughs>